Are you passionate about marine life and dreaming of a career as a marine biologist? If so, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to address a question that I recently got from a viewer. What classes should I take in high school if I want to become a marine biologist? Hey there, I'm Shannon Whaley and I've been a marine biologist for 29 years. And now it is my passion to help you as the next generation of marine biologists get into this fascinating field. This is the first video in a two-part series about high school classes. In this video, I'll be talking about the core classes that you need to focus on in high school. Be sure to check out part two though. This is where I talk about the electives that could really help you gain an edge when you're trying to get into the marine biology field. I'll have some unique ideas that I think you'll want to check out and some of them might surprise you. For this video, I'm excited to share with you my thoughts on the most important high school core classes that will give you the education that you need to pursue a degree and later a career in the fascinating field of marine biology. So let's dive right in. Number one is of course, biology. This is a no brainer, right? Of course, biology classes are going to be fundamental. These will likely be interesting to you and dare I say fun if you have the right teacher and the environment to learn. These are really going to lay down the groundwork for you of what you need to know about ecology, physiology, cell biology, etc. So you'll, you'll continue to build on these foundations when you go to college. Number two is chemistry. Now the amount of chemistry that I needed for my marine biology degree really surprised me when I started college. Now every school is different, but at my college I ended up with 19 hours of chemistry, mainly general chemistry and organic chemistry. And that's because a lot of marine biologists use chemistry concepts in their research because we're often trying to understand how different marine species are using their environment and that includes the chemistry of the water. Number three is mathematics. If you are interested in going into marine research, then having a strong math background is going to be really important. Courses like algebra, statistics, and calculus will build your quantitative skills that you are going to need to analyze data for your research project. I'm constantly analyzing data and using quantitative skills that I've learned throughout the years. It really builds upon itself and the sooner you can start to learn some of those techniques, the better. Number four is environmental science. Courses in environmental science are helpful to you because it's going to help you understand the impact of humans on the marine environment and how these issues are typically handled through conservation and management activities. Your career in marine biology will undoubtedly be related to some of these issues. Number five is physical sciences. So that could be oceanography or geography, for example. These physical science classes will give you the understanding that you need of the physical environment and the processes occurring in the ocean or the climate patterns that are very important to marine species. Number six is language arts. So here's one that you may not realize how important it is. Whether you're working in marine research, marine conservation, or education, you're gonna need to know how to write really well as part of your job as a marine biologist. For example, you might be writing up scientific results and reports and publications. That's actually what I've been doing myself for the last couple of weeks in, at my job is writing up results in a publication that I just sent out to my co-authors for a review. You may also be writing up a grant proposal to get funding, very important. Or you may be developing educational materials if you're on the marine education side of things. So it's a really good idea to start developing your writing and communication skills as soon as possible and high school is a great place to start. Those are the core classes that you will need in high school to start building your knowledge and it will really prepare you for college and your future as a marine biologist. 
Now, becoming a marine biologist is not just about knowing these core subjects. That's why I created another video that reveals some of the surprising electives that will give you some unique skills that will set you up for success in the field of marine biology. So you'll definitely want to watch that video too. I hope that you found this video helpful when planning your high school classes. And I hope it inspires you to really learn as these subjects are important stepping stones on your path to becoming a marine biologist. Embrace these opportunities, follow your passion, and soon you'll be making waves in the world of marine biology. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable tips and inspiration on pursuing your dream as a marine biologist.